I'm Char Jossel here with Glad, and I'm joined by the lovely Nava Mao. And Baby Reindeer, I must say, I watched this show on assignment, but I enjoyed it so much, I went back and watched it from just my own leisure. And it's such a roller coaster of a show. I'm curious to know what drew you to this script? Hmm. I mean, I think the same thing that people are experiencing watching the show, I experienced reading the script. I, I got the first episode and one scene when I, I did my first audition, and then I got the whole series for the, for my next audition after that. And I could not stop reading it. I think that Richard's vulnerability yeah. is so palpable mm -hmm. and it's undeniable, you know, the, the truth of it. I, I felt deeply connected and, and moved by the themes that, that, the, that the story touches on for survivors, you know, that the, the story really does not shy away from investigating cycles of silence and shame and trauma. I really, really, really was drawn to it and, and, and I wanted that role so bad. <laughs> and you knocked it out the park, I must say. You knocked it out of the park. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so many of us were first introduced to you through, I know that you you have quite the resume in front of the camera and behind it, but so many of us were first introduced to you as, as Anna on, on Generation. And I know that you just recently wrote, directed, and starred in a short film titled All the Words But the One. Is that what it's titled? Right. All the Words That's But right. the One? Yeah. And I know that that also details themes of trauma and details uh, themes of forgiveness. And I know it's coming out soon, it's gonna premiere soon, but can you share how working on that film or even some of your past experiences in front of the camera, if that influenced or changed the way that you approached the role of, of, of Terry in Baby Reindeer? Mm. Well, I, it's funny, I had written all the words but the one, uh, the spring, like spring of 2022. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was cast on Baby Reindeer and filmed Baby Reindeer. And then I came, finished filming and then came back and, and then did the short all of last year, um, back to back. And, and so they definitely kind of became part of one big, yeah. <laughs> you know, emotional journey <laughs> for me. I think maybe there was something about knowing that I had already written that story. And so then I was gonna kind of come back and dive into that, that it just gave me permission to go as far as I needed to with Baby mm -hmm. Rain Tinker and with Terry. Um, Cause I think I just knew that I would have space to work it out after. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I almost can't believe the the sort of um, synchronicity of, of, of how these two stories relate. Yeah. Um, I, I just, I, I mean, I've, I've never seen a role written by somebody else that felt like it spoke to me so clearly and so intimately. And, and it's, it kind of is a reminder to me that, oh, like, <laughs> this is actually possible, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's really an issue in our industry that trans people do not get to have roles that are layered, right? That are fleshed out, that have a full arc, yes. Uh, you know that are integral to the plot. Like mm -hmm. it's like, oh, this is what it can be. Like you can write your own stories, and other people can be writing stories that you're a part of as well. So all of all of that felt like such a blessing for it to be happening kind of around the same time, truly. Yeah, I, that, I was just going to add that that definitely feels serendipitous and and it sounds rather serendipitous and it also sounds like it is the, the most ideal situation to be in if you're going to be attached to projects that are dealing with some of the heavy subject matter that, you know, those two projects deal, like just get it all over with in <laughs> one fell swoop. <laughs> Now, Baby Reindeer is getting a lot of attention. And I even saw that Cardi B, you shared it yourself. Cardi <laughs> B even tweeted, are we still using tweeted? She she hopped on that site and and mentioned Baby Reindeer. Are, how do, for one, how does it feel to have all of this attention on you right now? But also, are there any other 
endorsements or fans of the show that surprised you? Hmm. I mean, I, I think that the attention so far really has been about the show and, mm -hmm. and the story and, and I think the 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 themes that it addresses which is such a blessing you know mm -hmm. um when when I filmed and, and was working with Richard and 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 the the whole casting crew I I just cared so much about the story I wanted to make sure that we gave it our all I wanted to make sure that people could feel what we felt working on it and and so now for the series to finally come out and, and it it seems like people are having such an emotional response to it it's like it's all you could ever hope for mm -hmm. um, and so I I I just I'm I'm really surrendering to the the journey of, of the, the story and it reaching all the people that it needs to reach mm -hmm. and, and it's truly an honor that i got to play a part in it um yeah, yeah truly but, but did you freak out like did you freak out when you when saw, I saw cardi, cardi b, b? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friend sent it to me my friend sent me that cardi b had posted um yeah. and and then she uh went on instagram live Oh, she did. She had a follow-up. Cardi B was watching the show, finished an episode, and then decided she needed to go on Instagram Live. Wow. Engage in a conversation about male survivors of sexual abuse. Yeah. And, and, and the, you know, complex trauma and how it can mm -hmm. affect um, people's relationship to sexual orientation. And, mm -hmm. And, and, you know, I think was engaging in a very meaningful conversation mm -hmm. about shame and silence that is is forced upon men when, mm -hmm. when they experience violence. Um, I mean, that cultural impact, I think, is immeasurable mm -hmm. because it means that people are having conversations about the story in their own language with their own people and and that is something way beyond yeah. me or even the, the series itself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I know I keep raving about it, but I do think that it's so layered. That's what makes the show so remarkable because there are aspects of humor laced into the, like it, it gives you a little bit of everything. What ways did you connect to, with Terry and were there any aspects of the character that were difficult for you to approach. That's my two part. Yeah. I mean, I think Terry has a deep desire to belong. She has a very strong sense of self. She's very mm -hmm. self-assured. You know, I, I think, you know, Terry knows who she is. <laughs> and and I think that what has not been afforded to her as much as, as she would like is, is belonging. Mm -hmm. in intimacy and in friendship and community etc um and so it's she 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 can see donnie and she wants him to see her and and she wants them to belong with each other um and i really relate to that you know it, it, my instinct is always to want to connect with people i always want to try to really see people you know mm -hmm. um so that w was like second nature. And of course I relate to being a trans woman and and, and the world kind of slamming yeah. the door in my face, you know, mm -hmm. and and how that shows up in intimacy, uh, you know, um, how that can become such an unsafe space. I think what was challenging was one that Terry just kind of does not hold back. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. She does not. <laughs> you know, I I do tend to think before I speak. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I, yeah. I I I'm from the South. I'm very polite. Like I <laughs> um I think that Terry's not afraid of however anybody's gonna react. Mm -hmm. She's not afraid of her own power. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of new for me to to 
feel like I had permission really? to, yes, to unleash whatever anger mm -hmm. come up, to feel entitled to have needs. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Like how the audacity of having needs mm -hmm. as a trans woman, mm -hmm. you know? She's just not afraid of any of that. I, I, I think she, for whatever reason, was already at a place where where she'd worked it all out, and and I was still needing to figure out how to embody that. Yeah. Um. And and one of the the manifestations of that is that I know that maybe not all of it actually ended up in the final cut, mm -hmm. but I had to perform a level of anger that I have never exhibited in my own life. I've really? never yelled at somebody. I've never, I've just, I'm, she has to really go in on him at times. And, and, and I typically do not do that. <laughs> um, and so I had to investigate what, why I had to investigate what is the mechanism that tells me that I am not allowed to be angry, you know, mm -hmm. that I'm not allowed to say how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I'm really grateful that she taught me a lot about that, you know? Uh, yeah, I think that that's what one of the more endearing things about her. It's nice to see someone stand in their power, particularly a trans woman on screen stand in, pow stand in her power, because much to your point, there is a conditioning that I feel a lot of trans people in general go through where it's like, you should just be lucky someone's there. You, how dare you have the audacity to have a need? How dare you have a, uh, an audacity to have a desire? And I think mm -hmm. that Terry, just the representation of her on screen is it, that's what's drawing people and, and making people relate because maybe someone will step out outside of their comfort zone and stand in their worthiness and their power, you know, take up that space. I hope so, yes. Yeah. So what kind of stories are you interested in taking on next? And can we look forward to more of your directing in addition to like your writing and your acting? What are you what are you eyeballing? I have been telling people I'm trying to do a comedy next. Okay. <laughs> Understandably. Understandably. You know, I I needed to go on this emotional creative journey with mm -hmm. being here and then with my short right after, which I worked on for 11 months, I kind of just had two years of, of really intense emotional processing. Mm -hmm. And and now I've, I've cleared that. Mm -hmm. You know, I did that. I really have healed so much of myself. Mm -hmm. And and so I don't necessarily need to to go so deep in, into a, a, a dramatic emotional place right now. I would love to get back to some comedy, get some, some laughs would, in there. Yes, yes. I would love to to learn the more of the technicality of comedy as well. Mm -hmm. um, um, and my dream is always sci-fi. I'm always trying to work towards uh, epic stories that include queer and trans people of color in, mm -hmm. in places that we've never seen us in before. Um, I'm hoping to to get there and if that is something that i'm creating mm -hmm. then that's what it's gonna have to be and if other people have that same dream and invite me to be a part of it then i am all for it <laughs> i'm not gonna say no to that well now i just have two more quick questions and then i'll let you go Right now, there are not a lot of trans characters on TV. If, if, in, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's like three on like linear cable and three on streaming. I'm curious to know, like, I know that you worked on Disclosure, which when I think about Disclosure, when I think about the starting point and where we currently are with Terry, it's been formidable growth. So you are part of on-screen history. What have you learned about yourself and your craft through these years with the projects that you've, that you've chosen to take on? What have you learned about Nava? Uh, 
You mentioned disclosure. I was so lucky to be one of the production fellows. I worked in the GE department. I was doing lighting and, <laughs> and I learned so much. I learned so much because one thing about working in GE is that you actually get to then watch the whatever they're filming. Uh huh. If it's acting, you're watching the acting, and in a documentary, you're watching the interviews. And so I, I had the privilege of getting to sit for 10 days and, and watch these luminary thinkers, artists, mm -hmm. leaders, scholars come in and, and, and share their their professional expertise as well as their personal perspective on trans representation on screen and the political moment that we were in at the time and that we yeah. were facing and that are now in. That changed me. That changed me. It. It reminded me that we have to dream bigger than people have told us that we're allowed to dream. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't do it, who's gonna do it? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I really had been focused on like just doing one little thing in the industry and getting as far as I can get and. And I, I realized that it's more important to to honor your values mm -hmm. and and that whatever notion of impact will come from you sticking to your integrity. And and so I've I've tried to follow that compass. Um, I I I think that I, I learned that I don't need to be fitting myself into the mold that other people want me to fit into. Yeah. <laughs> because that has never done me any good. Nope. That has never done me any good. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm trying to listen to that voice, even as I'm saying this out loud, I'm like, you know, it, it's, a, it's a daily uh, yes. effort to kind of stay aligned with that. Yes, absolutely. Wow, thank you for that. I'm sure that answer will resonate with a lot of people watching this because who who doesn't run up against that? Trans or not, who doesn't run up against those 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 notions of having to kind of sift through all the mess of what people impose and project onto you? Um, but yeah. So my final question for you, Nafa, I'm sorry, that kind of knocked my socks off. My final question for you, I'm curious to know kind of like what's on your radar? We kind of talked about this earlier with, with like additional stories you want to dive into, like with comedy, but like what is Nava doing in her downtime? What are you listening to? Are there any new fun shows that you're watching? Like what are you doing in the, in the pop culture world on your downtime? Mm. Well, I'll be honest, I have been working so much. <laughs> um, I have not had very much downtime. I have been listening to Keep It, the podcast. Oh, yes. I was a host on Keep It. I filled in in 2019. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to go find your episode. <laughs> I love Keep It. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, let's see, what have I, um, I, uh, I don't know why this is what I'm thinking of, but I, I loved The Curse, that show uh, that Nathan Fielder did with Emma Stone. Um, okay. I, I thought that that was amazing. Okay. Just unafraid to expose mm. the, the ugliness of privilege. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have to look up that one. I don't think I've heard of that one. It, I, it blew my mind. Mm, um, okay. You know, I think that it does not hold back in um, in sort of like the the machinations of of the way that capital functions in our society for yeah. our, for white people, especially. So, mm -hmm. um, so that um, and. Uh, I don't know. I always, I always love um, the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I watched this again recently. Um, I carry you with me. It's this oh. indie film, um, uh, uh, and it's like the last third is a documentary. 
oh. and they find out that the whole story has been based on these two real people and it's it's a love story over a lifetime um oh. that goes from mexico to the united states and it's it's about immigration it's about mm. this gay love story and um it is just beautiful 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 work um yeah mm. so those are my three <laughs> okay, I, lo I love that. I love that. Well, Nava Mel, I want to thank you for joining GLAAD today to talk all things Baby Reindeer and what you're working on. This has been great. I can't wait to be in conversation with you later down the line in the future. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Likewise. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Same to you.